An Acadiana boy living with Asperger's syndrome is paving the way for a unique style of learning, virtual school. Megan Kelly explains why his family says it's a good option for some kids. So right now I'm in unit 23. 11-year-old Ben Vossine is learning through a webcam, conversing with a microphone, asking questions in the class's group chat, and emailing his homework to teachers. It's the Louisiana Virtual Charter Academy, and mom Amanda says so far it's been a good option. It was easier to find a solution where I could school him from home but didn't necessarily have to do the schooling myself. Ben has Asperger's syndrome, ADHD, and disruptive mood dysregulation disorder, making focusing in a regular classroom setting pretty hard. It's anything out of the ordinary, anything out of routine that really, you know, throws him off for the rest of the day. Whenever we have a fire drill, it just, it made, it made me get really angry because, like, we, if we were in the middle of a lesson, it's a drill and we should just con keep continuing. Now, virtual school is both celebrated and criticized, with some educational studies stating that online students tend to fall behind. But others say it depends on the student and the best way they learn. Through the Louisiana Virtual Charter Academy, Ben is required to complete 30 hours of schoolwork. It's easy, it's like it's flexible because there are no interruptions and I usually get all my work done before 2 o'clock. Bland. As for his socialization, his mom says it's a bit of a concern, but he does go to a blended site two days a week with other kids in the same program. Now that we're doing the Charter Academy, he is so happy. He, he's just got a different style of learning than other kids. That was Megan Kelly reporting. Ben says his favorite subject is science and that he hopes to be an engineer one day. As of now, Amanda plans to keep Ben in online school through high school. Louisiana Virtual Charter Academy is free through the public school system.